Once upon a time, in a far away kingdom, Prince Jaisi's sister, the lovely Princess Jayashree, fell gravely ill. Her father, King Jayavardhan, called in healers from Africa and magicians from Timbuktu, but nothing worked. Princess Jayashree slept on and on. What is the use of being a king and living in a palace made of gold when I cannot help my daughter? What can I do? Father, father, I know a very wise old man who lives in the forest. Maybe he can help Jayashree. Can I go to meet him? Meet him? Why? We'll escort him here with the greatest luxury if he agrees to cure my beloved daughter. Come here, young prince. You love your sister very much, don't you? Well, it is up to you to cure her. I will give you a list of ingredients I need for a spell. And if you bring them to me before the sun sets tomorrow, I can make her better. Give me the list, O oh wise one. I'll bring everything you need. One shooting star. Ten large toadstools. One hundred pink pumpkins. One thousand goose feathers. Ten thousand wild strawberries. One lakh violet flower buds. Ten lakh snowflakes. 100 lakhs sparkling rubies. King Jayavardhan commanded 50 of his best soldiers to help Prince JC find all the items on the list. In the meanwhile, the king and the wise old man kept watch over the princess. So JC went out to collect the items that would cure his sister. One shooting star. Well, that was easy. Next item on the list. Ten toadstools. In an old forest in their kingdom, JC found ten of the largest toadstools he had ever seen. Now, JC went on the search for hundred pink pumpkins. Luck favoured him yet again. He found them growing wild, as pink as no pumpkin had ever been before. To find the 1,000 goose feathers, JC ordered every single royal pillow in the royal palace to be ripped apart to find the finest goose feathers ever for his beloved sister. All was proceeding well till JC reached the next item on his list. 10,000 wild strawberries. Now, finding strawberries was easy for a royal prince like JC. But 10,000? What did that mean? JC went to the old man with tears in his eyes. I tried so hard, wise one. But now I think I might fail. Why? What's wrong, young man? Please, wise one, help me understand these numbers so that I can make my sister better. I have never seen numbers as large as these and I don't know what they mean. Look very carefully at this. This is the ancient Indian system of place values for numbers. Every digit in a number has a place value. 
That means there is a specific value for each digit in a number. For any number, the first digit from the right is at the lowest place value. I'm not sure I understand that. Look at this chart. The first column on the right is the ones place. As we move towards the left, with each step, the place value increases by 10. You see, the amount is multiplied by 10 with each place value that increases. We move from 1 to 10 and then on to 100 and 1000 as we move up in the place value chart. Next, the numbers move even higher. After 1000, an extra digit makes the place value 10,000. From 10,000, if you add another digit, it becomes 1 lakh. 1 lakh is just 10,000 repeated 10 times. If you add another digit, that 1 lakh becomes 10 lakh. And similarly, one more digit brings the place value up to 1 crore. Which number on my list was puzzling you? 10,000. You asked me to bring 10,000 wild strawberries. But I understand it now. 10,000 is just 1,000 repeated 10 times. Well done, Prince. You have learned well. <laughs> it is all because of your wisdom, wise one. One crore is such a large number. Yes, it is. And to make such large numbers easy to read and write, the place value chart has been divided into periods. The first one is the ones period. This consists of the places ones, tens and hundreds. The period of thousands includes the places thousands and ten thousands. The period of lakhs consists of places lakhs and ten lakhs. The crores period consists of the crores place. We can use these periods to understand and read a numeral or write its number name. How do we do that? Let me show you. Let's read this number by fitting it into the grid. This is how we read it. The digit 1 is in the crores column. The next digit 1 is in the 10 lakh column. The digit 7 is in the 1 lakh column. The digit 3 is in the 10,000 column. The digit 5 is in the 1,000 column. The next two fours are in the hundreds and tens column respectively. And the last digit 9 is in the ones column. Let's read this number. So, this number will be read as 1 crore 17 lakh 35,449. Wow! How will we write this number, wise one? Just write down all the digits and put a comma after each period. 
starting from the ones period. Oh, let me see. Starting from the right, I will place a comma for the ones period before the digit four, which is in the hundreds place. Next, I will place a comma for the thousands period before the digit three. For the lakhs period, I will place a comma before the digit one in the ten lakhs place. Well done, Prince. You have learned fast. Now, go and get those ten thousand strawberries. Time is running out. Armed with his new found knowledge, JC easily managed to find the next three items on the list. 10,000 strawberries, 1 lakh violet flower buds and 10 lakh snowflakes. Then he reached the final item, 100 lakh sparkling rubies. JC immediately went to the royal treasury to find these. But he could only find 99 lakh 99,999 rubies. Miserable at having failed, JC went back to the wise man. I have failed, wise one. I could only find 99,99,999 rubies, not more. There you are, JC. Now, you have one crore rubies. Yes, but you had asked for 100 lakh rubies. We still don't have that many. 99 lakh 99,999 plus 1 is equal to 1 crore. Isn't that what you just taught me? 100 lakh is the same as 1 crore, Prince JC. Look at your scroll. If I fit 1 crore into the place value chat, it would look like this. 1 crore is the same as 10 lakh increased 10 times which is 100 lakh that means that 99 lakh 99999 plus 1 is equal to 100 lakh or 1 crore and i have found all the items oh i am so happy now my darling sister will be better soon prince jc's quest was successful and Princess Jeshri woke up while the entire kingdom rejoiced. Prince JC patted the scroll in his pocket and smiled a secret smile. Let's revise what we just learned. Every digit in a number has a place value. The first digit on the right side has the smallest place value in the ones column. With every step on the place value chart, the value of the digit increases by 10. To make such large numbers easy to read and write, the place value chart has been divided into periods. The ones period consists of the places ones, tens and hundreds. The thousands period consists of the places thousands and ten thousands. The lakh period consists of the places lakh and ten lakh. The crore period consists of the place one crore. One crore is the same as one hundred lakh. 